Hey, good evening, Playbook Traders. Bringing you our weekly weekend video of the market and in general, and uh, sharing some ideas here for what's going on. But you know, first and foremost, just wanted to talk about you know how do we read the market? And there was a lot of questions that came to my way of you know what's what's happening in the market, and everybody wants to know if it's bullish bearish. I don't. I, quite frankly, I mean nobody knows if it's bullish and bearish. We just trade the price action. We just trade the candlesticks, and you know I I would say you know for anyone that is has spent one second in the market and have a brokerage account from Robinhood to whoever you use, um, you know don't let your opinion of what should happen bias your strategy because it really doesn't matter what's going to happen. It's going to happen because price action will tell us what needs to happen, and that's why we use technical analysis and so. Let's take a look um, on this. Uh, this is how I usually scan. So, kind of, you know, sh showing you what I do. I, you know, I, obviously I, I use Market Smith for my scans, and I'm just bringing this because Market Smith isn't, uh, you know, I can't, isn't, it isn't the most robust. Ro it, it is the most robust. So let me clear that. I mean, this, it's, you know, they charge twenty five hundred dollars a year for a reason. It is the most robust for sure. But it's really tough to do any recording on Marcus Smith first. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fix your screen, and then, and then off we go. But you know, I all, I have my my scan set up here in in Marcus Smith over here. You know, I have, uh, and you have really, really great data here on Marcus Smith. So if I was to do Nvidia, then it'll give me the entire data for Nvidia. So, anyways, but it's tough to really share this. But I take these scans, I put them in my trade station because it's much easier to share. So let's take a look uh, what is happening with the market. Uh, so you see the data. I don't know why it was slow, but it was a little bit slow. And then all all the stuff that I, it's, you know, one of the most robust scanning uh, software there is Marcus Smith. It is very expensive, but it's worth every penny. At least for me, it's worth every penny. You know, I have all my you know, I can I can run these I can run these stocks I can run these scans. Honestly, I can run about three thousand scans in less than twenty minutes in MarketSmith, which is fantastic. And then uh, you know, not to mention the uh, the alert. So uh, so let's take a look uh, what's going on in the market. We'll start with the Qs. Um, that's Nasdaq 100. Um, so Qs, you know, after I don't think we've reached resistance yet because that's the weekly chart. So the way I scan, I have it, I, I do initial scanning and all, all the things that I have set up in market market smith and then I bring it to my trade station. Now I have multiple time frames, right? And weekends I always scan on a weekly chart and then you know I'll look for daily for a micro entry. But usually this is what I have. You have I have my weekly chart, daily chart, hourly, and a 15 minutes. But 15 minutes is really um, just kind of gauge a very very short term short term trend and give me an idea where where my where should I enter next morning. So Q's uh, sitting kind of right at support here on on the daily chart. Weekly chart looks like, you know, it's still got some room to go. Uh, maybe 400. I don't know if it goes there, but I wouldn't be surprised if we rally next week and see what happens in this area. Um, in in the Q's, we have a rising 21 period moving average. We have rising 50 period moving average. What I love about this, that the gap between the move gap between the moving average is closing and it become it's becoming much more equal uh, rather than spread out i mean when the when the gaps are tight look at the price action i mean you just stay in it and play this trend as long as you as you can now uh, weekly chart you know to me that's your support on the weekly chart right over here about 370 dollars so we still got some room on the weekly chart so that's the point can it can go there uh, this is pretty much the gap close right here at 375, and then another gap close here, and then right over here, you know, where you have uh, 370 bucks here, and then, you know, this. So if I were to really want to get too granular, you know, this is kind of the area where the extreme here, but I don't think we get there. I think 370 is most most likely, and then we'll we'll balance from 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 370 area. On the other hand, spiders. Uh, so let's take a look at the spiders and see what is happening in, in spiders. Uh, 
it looks more, much more bullish than the queues. I'll tell you that much. Uh, we've had a you know green week, rest week, green week, beautiful rest week here on a low volume. So kind of a one, two, three, and then broke out and staying within the you know what top 15% of this bar with probably room to about $460 here on on the queue. So got some room. It's nice consolidation. Um, our early chart is trading under the 21 period moving average, but if it's, it's not broken, so you, we have immediate support right here at four, let's just call it 450, and then obviously right here. But so that's, you know, I think it, it may pull back here a little bit. It'll be healthier for moving averages to start to become more of a rail, railroad track so they're not too spread out, and it'll give the uh, market a little bit more room. You know, just, just look at the the Dow, Dow is super bullish. I mean, it's just bullish. It's bullish in all time frame. Just broke out on the weekly chart. It's a big base here. Big base here. Just broke out last week. So Dow is not any, in any danger of uh, of any danger of pulling back. Quite frankly, IWM is where I am keeping a close eye. I mean, it's it got ran up pretty far out from the 21 period moving average. It is pulling back. Weekly charts starting to look really good. You you know we've got a little bit of a you know micro stage two um and then it's gonna get you know if it triggers here that's the macro stage two and then room here so this is my favorite favorite chart that i'm watching for a breakout here long term base you take a look at here it's 198 one this let's just call it 200 so just simple math is so 200 here you've got a major support sitting at 160 164 that's a 36 points move and then, you know, measure move takes us to a, a minimum 211, if not all the way here. So, this this this, this is probably one of one of, one of the most exciting index that I'm I'm watching. But, you know, when when you look at look at you know, spy hung in there all week, Dow is staying strong, IWM yeah did have a little bit of a pullback, no damage to the overall chart. Um, but now think about Tuesday, Tuesday's low uh, closing right here on the QQQ. Uh, you know, at this point, that's the one that we're going to watch out and see what what it does here. On uh, so, you know, in a nutshell, from the market, QQQ is in a daily uptrend, but many indications show that it will continue, and then there may be some pockets that you know it, it may stall. So, you know, we saw a lot of earnings last week that obviously were somewhat mixed, and this upcoming week will be perhaps the biggest earning weeks, possibly the following week as well. So there will be a lot of big names next week. So at the moment, like this, it's also important to pay attention to the IWM, which I was talking about. In my mind, in longer term analysis, it has to be considered. So perhaps the more important as the major indices have become so dominated by the handful of big names, which I'm going to go and see what do we got going on here. So first one, I'm going to start with NVIDIA, and I'll show you some of my top picks for this week. Yeah, NVIDIA, hey, look, nobody said extended, can't get extended. Uh, if, you, if, you, um, if you are in the chat room, then you know what's happening here. This was a pro gap, and I said, hey, this can, this can lead lower. Don't let don't let the gap dictate you let the price action and volume dictate you look at this volume on the video that was a record volume on the video and it really never took out the lows and boom off off it goes so the video can pull back uh meta uh those of you who have traded with us we traded meta for uh, you know we doubled the stock basically uh meta so meta also looks like you know this was the first time there was some cracks in meta but you have 200 period moving average right here at 406 and it might offer it might offer trading uh trading here pretty soon in meta so keep an eye on meta i'm sorry this is netflix not meta but keep an eye on netflix we traded this uh this gap down with you know there's a little bit of uh uh damage damaging the uptrend but we've got support right here uh on the other hand you know, Meta is just what a beautiful trend in Meta. Uh, this is a stock that we doubled, and you know, it, it's it's crazy because you play, you know, this gap up that was a buy right here, 
and then this was a confirmation. So those of you understand the stage analysis, this is your stage four, stage one, stage two, up to stage two, and then this right here is the stage two A. So right over here at 180, and, I, and that was D. Uh, if you bought it here at 180, I mean, look where it went. So understanding stages will definitely pay off. Apple has been very bullish, you know, also in a big, big uptrend and, you know, rallying the market with so many other news associated with Apple. AMD that I was talking to, I was talking to some traders on AMD, which I'm starting to really, really like on the downside. If, 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 and it's going to be somewhere around 108. So that was on my bearish list to watch. And the trigger would be right here at 108.50 on volume. And then you've got room for about the $10 on AMD. So watch that as a short. Uh, on This is the one that we've traded. This chart is super bullish. Any consolidation here on, on, I mean, this is, you know, this is your big stage one here, stage two. Now this is a stage two A with a macro stage two is probably going to trigger here. So any any rest here, if it can build the right side on the daily chart or the weekly chart or pull back to here would be very healthy and on, and I am looking to uh, take a position. Uh, another, uh, I, I don't want to say a damaging uh, gap on Tesla, but a gap, you know, nonetheless was a gap down on Tesla. And this one, uh, this this one may may have a follow through and then gap closes right here is what I'm looking to perhaps re-enter in Tesla. So keep an eye on this one as well. It's another, um, you know, uh, same family as NVIDIA AEHR um, always catches my attention. Weekly chart is not extended because it just broke out. So any rest here will be really, uh, I will welcome the rest. Uh, AVGO, we've traded this one uh, right up here, took nice profits. This is again, setting up the trigger will be 9.15, uh, stop will be 8.85 on this one. So I'm watching this uh, closely. Marvell, a uh, little bit of a weekly chart I really like. This is a flag pattern on, on a weekly chart. Again, you know, I showed you this. So this is stage four, stage one, stage two, stage two A, and it's about to go here on stage two A. Keep an eye on this. Rambus, love the weekly chart. Um, need a little bit more time here. Daily chart a little bit in trouble. She could be short here under 57, and the long would be above this area, 63.55. Uh, PLTR, probably one of the ones that got away from me. I have not participated in PLTR. I love this gap on the, I loved this gap on the daily chart, just, just couldn't find. And then, you know, just so you know, not, you can't catch them all, but this is really good. Now, um, you know, talk, talk about not be able to catch them all, but, you know, here's the one that, you know, we, we caught this right, uh, um, right from a $24 and I'll, I'll show you the the alert alert that um, the alert that I sent out to the uh, to the team here. So I'll show you right here. So uh, where is it? Right here. Okay. So this is the alert that I went to the team. Uh, Carvana uh, long. I mean, it, it's it's right here. I can I can show you right here. So that is the. Uh, um, the long for Carvana from the chat room. Those who those who are in the chat room, 24 by 21. So three dollar stop, and I'll let you look at where it went. Uh, this entry again. This was a you know this this again from the daily chart. The weekly chart was starting to turn. You know that's we we ending the stage. This right here above the moving averages is your stage one, and this was a break of a this was a break of a stage one, and then right into this area, right into this area, uh, we picked up um, uh, Carvana right right here above this candle, that green candle, and we put a stop at 21. So I mean, you saw where you know the, the trade was. Um, now, this was another entry, a pullback, could have done it, but I didn't add. This uh, was perfect area to add because now you have a nice consolidation, bulls are dominating, and boom, it went to, 60 bucks, so you know, nice um, uh, 200 plus percent gain. So it pays to be in the chat room um, if you like. Uh, ALV, yeah, you know, that's uh, the reason I'm bringing that up because I love this gap. It's a long, long term base that it broke out, 
any consolidation here, keep an eye on it. Hourly chart looks pretty good for you know uh, continuation. Uber also yielded as super bullish. Uh, this one needs a little bit more time. Any consolidation here could could be really good. And IoT is actually one of my favorites here. The trigger will be right here on IoT. Um, this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, SMCI, same thing. Uh, a little bit more here, and it's ready to go. You think it's extended, then obviously you have your style of trading. I have my style of trading. You know, I I yielded 58% return this year, documented, verified, and that's the reason extended stocks can only get extended. This has so many beautiful entry. And if you are listening to this video, video and you ever, ever want to make money, take a picture of this chart. Look at this, how how it is. And then it broke out. Beautiful rest rest week. Entry would have been 143.50. And you could have put a stop right here at 131, $12 stop. I mean, I mean, rest is history. So keep an eye on it. I have a couple of shorts for you to look at. CLH uh, right here under this on volume uh, could see you know pretty nice uh, dip below here. I think you can easily see 123. You're gonna need market for these names. Uh, Panda, you same thing. It's failed. It's it you know wants to come back and moving average on on the weekly chart also telling us that, hey, we might see this at 2.14 or 2.15-ish. So that's what I have. Super, super busy um, earning week next week. We've got Intel reporting. We've got McDonald's reporting, Energy Name, Chevron of the World, Exxon of the World, Snapchat reports as well. And somebody asked me about uh, Snapchart, not uh, Snapchat, Snapchat chart. So I'll just pull it up right here for Snapchart. Just yeah, so, you know that that's that's a really really good um, good chart on Snapchat. Over this, over thirteen fourteen, uh, I think you you can you can get get long here. Um, any consolidation here in this chart chart is really good. So good ask here, and yes, I I like it. Thank you for bringing it up, and I'm actually going to add it to my 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 scans here. Um, we um, I do like uh, Lucid. Um, I am long Lucid at seven dollars so it's just right here it's another one uh, i am also long roku uh, with the room uh, i just showed you smci with that kind of pattern roku put that pattern now your entry is let's call it 80 and your stop is 70. so ten dollar stop and rest could be a history so keep an eye on this as well roku is one of my favorites so a couple other things uh, i'll cover that with my uh, morning commentary for the members. Um, have a good rest of the night and have a great uh, trading week.